Your timing really sucks, Carly. Get out. No, no. Katie, look. I'm really joking. But I can't let you go through with this. Letting Brad Snyder get you pregnant has got to be the worst idea I've ever heard. And I should listen to you because... If you are trying to get back at Jack, this is not the way to do it. Sleeping with Brad will only make you miss him more. Since when did my personal life become any of your business? You're not over Jack. That's a given. You just don't make things worse by getting in over your head with Brad. Do you know how stupid I would have to be to take your advice? Kitty, I told you that you ought to forgive Brad for lying to you. I didn't tell you that you ought to procreate with him. Holly, will you go home? Just go home. Just get out of here and leave Katie alone. Katie's lucky that I'm here to stop her from making a huge mistake because you, Brad, are the worst thing that could ever happen to her. Katie, why would you want to have a baby with Brad when you're still in love with someone else? Because I can't be with Jack anymore. So you want to have a baby with him? Okay, that's it. If you're not going to leave on your own, I will personally escort you the hell out. Brad, look, Brad! You might want to put some clothes on. Okay. But while I'm gone, don't listen to a word she has to say. I'm doing this for you, Katie. For me? For me? Let's review all the things you've done for me. You are the reason that I'm not married to Jack and having kids with him. I lost Jack. I can never be with him again. But you could still have a chance with him. So don't do this. Don't burn bridges with Jack. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Maybe you're still too mad at Jack to forgive him right now. But having a baby with Brad is no good way to get back at him. Well, think about it. Brad would make an awful father anyway. He's barely more than a child himself. Okay, okay, Carly. Party is over. You want to insult me? Do it to my face. Outside. Excuse us. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? Whose side are you on? If I want to have a kid with Katie, you got no say in it. I mean, why should you care anyway? I'm doing this for Jack. He doesn't deserve to be hurt anymore. Oh, don't try to be St. Carly. The halo does not fit. I still care about him. You care about yourself. And Jack is mad as hell at you right now. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you score brownie puns with him at my expense. As usual, you have no idea what you're talking about. I am trying to do the right thing. You were not the right thing. You came up bit you in the butt. Okay, you feel, you're feeling guilty, right? But don't think you can repair things between Katie and Jack. They're over. Finito. Kaput. I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. What is wrong with you? I mean, you pulled out a trick at the book trying to get them apart. I mean, you told me if I stuck with you, you know, if I kept your secret, then I would end up with Katie as my reward. Well, I was supposed to end up with Jack. And it didn't happen. So any deal that we had is null and void. Well, that's just great, isn't it? You lose Jack, and now I'm supposed to lose Katie. So that's it. That's cool. You should definitely get back together with Katie for Christmas. <laughs> oh. Listen, I don't want you to get your hopes up. It all depends on Katie. Hello? Parker, it's Katie. Is Jack there? Hey, Katie. Uh, he's here. Hold on. This could be your chance. Don't blow it. Hey, Katie, what's up? I cannot believe he would stoop so low as to send Carly over here to do your dirty work. Hold on, Katie, I don't know what you're talking about. You sent Carly over here for one reason and one reason only. To keep Brad and me from, you know. No, no, I don't, I don't know. What, 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 hey, what? Carly came to see you? Why, why did she do that? When I think of all the ways that you and Carly have hurt me lately, to think that you have some right to invade the most personal, private moments of my life... Listen, Katie, whatever Carly did, I swear, I had nothing to do with. I don't believe you. Okay, may maybe we should take care of this in person, then. I I'll come see you. No, no, no way. Whatever you're upset about, whatever Carly did, you gotta give me a chance to fix it. That's your problem, Jack. You think that if there's something that you don't like, all you have to do is step in and fix it, and it will go back to the way you wanted it. But not this time. There is nothing that you and Carly can do to stop me. I'm doing this. I am having a baby with Brad, and you can't say one word about it. This isn't about me. It's about you. And if you're going to have that kind of relationship, you know, with Brad, it's not going to end well. 
bringing a baby into this world, it's, it's, it's a huge thing. And if you don't do that with the right person, you could be paying for that mistake for the rest of your life. You ought to know. Look, I don't have all the answers. Obviously, I just can't stand to see someone do something for the wrong reasons. I've made up my mind, Jack. I'm having a kid with your brother. Deal with it. Katie. Katie? Bad news? Well, it wasn't good. It's all Mom's fault, right? I got news for you, Brad. You can't lose Katie, because you never had her in the first place. Maybe not, but if we have a kid together, who knows? Things may change. You're a sperm donor. That's not exactly a recipe for romance. Hello? Look, are you as blind as you were at dance? I'm not just some anonymous donor. Until you showed up, Katie and I were well on our way to Brad Snyder's Guaranteed to Please Afternoon Delight. <laughs> oh, I really can't believe that she agreed to that. Well, she did, and we would be rocking and rolling if you hadn't interrupted. And I'm glad I did. Because as much as I hate to admit this, I think that Jack might actually still love her. And so today I stopped you from doing something to your brother that you would regret for the rest of your life. Well, I'm sorry. He lost his chance. You know, when Katie and I have a kid, she's going to forget about him permanently. And that's a good thing for me and for her. If you honestly think this is going to work, you're out of your mind. You're dreaming, Brad. And what's wrong with that? You know, some dreams are worth holding on to. So what? You're going to give Katie a little baby. And then you'll all live in a nice big house someplace with a big backyard, white picket fence. I'm thinking more split rail. Something a little more rustic. So you honestly think all you have to do is knock her up and she's going to be yours forever? That What's is beyond pathetic. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I know. It's sour grapes. You lost your chance with the life with Jack. So to hell with the rest of the world. Nobody gets to be happy ever again. You're not going to be happy here. Because Katie does not love you. She will never love you. She's going to love Jack forever. I say she had no right. She never does. This time I think Jack sent her. You do? I do. But it's not going to do either of them any good. I haven't changed my mind. I still want a baby. With me? Yes, of course with you. Brad, what's wrong? Yeah, I know I'm just a stand-in for Jack and that you're just using me to, to make a baby and I'm letting myself be used. But all of a sudden, it doesn't feel the way I thought it would. Carly got to you, didn't she? You don't want to be with me now. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> no. It's like what I was trying to tell you earlier. This isn't just any baby. It's your baby. And how it should happen. It should be a beautiful thing and if we're just using each other then I'm not sure what were you saying Brad you gonna have a problem with this come here Brad, that he doesn't belong with Katie. I thought I was doing a good thing. It wasn't. 